Hey, my amazing artists, I hope you're ready for another fun and a little messy awesome art activity. Today's awesome art activity, we're going to be experimenting with shaving cream to create marbling effects. So let's start first with our learning target. I can experiment with shaving cream marbling. So here's the question, what is marbling? Well, some of you might have seen the stone marble before. Marbling is a type of art where you print colorful swirls or stone-like texture patterns onto things such as fabric and paper. Now, besides looking at marble stones, where else might we see marbling? Well, sometimes you might see marbling on scarves or on clothing, but one place you can be sure to find marbling is on some old books. For example, I have this book in my collection and it has an example of marbling on its back cover. This is just one type of marbling. We are gonna create our own marbling today using shaving cream and a few other art supplies. So we better go ahead and see what those are so we can get ready. Now, before we dive into what art materials we might need, I wanna to recommend to my artists that you set up either next to a garbage can or close to a sink so you can help yourself with cleanup. Again, this is going to be a little bit of a messier project, so you might want to put newspaper down on the area that you're going to be creating on, or make sure that it is a surface that you can easily clean up, okay? So, for our shaving cream marbling today, we're going to need some shaving cream. Maybe a dad or a father figure might be able to help you with some of that, or maybe your mom might have some shaving cream as well. You're also going to need some food dye. Again, if you don't have food dye, you can also use liquid watercolors, which is what we would have used in the classroom. I have a ruler here, which is gonna act as my squeegee when I'm wiping the shaving cream off my paper. So if you have a squeegee, that might be a good substitute instead of a ruler. I have also a chopstick here. Now, this is not the ideal tool to use. Instead, you wanna get a toothpick if you have it. Unfortunately though, I'm all out of toothpicks at home. So I'm gonna be using a chopstick instead. I also have some smaller paper. I cut it in half. That way I can experiment with many different colors and try different things. And if you notice, all of this is set up on a baking tray because that's where we're going to be spreading our shaving cream out. Now, if you don't have a nice large baking tray or baking sheet, it's okay to do this on just a large plate or even on a paper plate if you want to have easier cleanup to just throw it away later. So please go ahead and grab those art materials and make sure that you're setting up in a place or space that is easy to clean up. All right, artists, I'm all set up and ready to show you how we're gonna experiment with some shaving cream marbling today. Now, what you don't see set up here on my table is my trash can that I have right under my table, as well as some paper towels that I have off to the side, just in case I need to help quickly with a little bit of cleanup. So, first thing first, I'm gonna shake up my shaving cream. You wanna get it so it's nice and fluffy inside the can. Then, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna spray a light layer of shaving cream a little bit bigger than the size of my paper. Now, if there's a few gaps, I might wanna go back and fill those in a little bit. My favorite way to fill it in is to go the other way now. I have a nice layer of shaving cream set up, ready to do some marbling on. Now, because we're doing some experimenting, I suggest starting with only one color to begin with and then add colors as you go because you can't take back colors after you've added them. So for today's example, maybe I'll go ahead and start with a few dots of red. Again, I said just a few. I don't wanna to add too much red everywhere. I just wanna start with a little bit in different parts of my shaving cream. Now comes the fun marbling part. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my chopstick. Again, if you have a toothpick, that's a better tool to be using. And I wanna just hold it straight up and down above my shaving cream and kind of drag it through the different colors as I go. Now, again, I don't wanna to push too hard. I'm not going all the way to the bottom of my shaving cream. I'm pushing very gently and kind of winding back and forth. And it's gonna to start to pull my little red dots through and around. Hmm, it doesn't look quite marbled yet, so maybe I'll try going the other way now, side to side. And I'll pull my red dots this way and that way. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll even try some swirls here and there just to see how that might look. Maybe I'll go back, do some more lines. I'm just dragging the color through the shaving cream just to see the fun designs it might make. All right, when I'm ready, I'll set my chopstick or my toothpick down on that tray. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my sheets of paper. I'm gonna do my print now. And I'm gonna print what is on the shaving cream onto my paper. So I'll lay my paper down now here's a really important part, my friends. When you push it into the shaving cream, don't push really, really hard. Instead, you wanna use your fingers to rub very, very lightly. And you'll start to see that design that was in the shaving cream come through. Again, I'm pushing very, very gently with my fingers. All right, once I can see that the design has come through, I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off. It doesn't look like anything just yet. I'm going to set it down. And remember we had that ruler or a squeegee. I'm going to use my ruler to wipe the extra shaving cream off of my paper. Set that down for a moment. I'm going to clean that up later. And look, we have our first marbling print. Now again, this is experimenting. So if my first is not what I thought it might be, I can go back and I can try again. I'm going to go ahead I'm gonna speed up my process now a little bit, add some more colors and swirl back through and try a few more prints and show you what my prints look like when I'm all done and what yours could look like as well. I'm going to do one last print off of this marbling that I already have. One thing that I have been doing is adding more and more colors, and you can see that the colors have started to blend together to create new colors, including brown. So if you keep adding too much color, my friends, it will start to turn brown as you keep going. But the beautiful thing about it is if I like this and I don't want to marble it anymore, I can also print it exactly like that after I just pull the print off of it, and it'll just give me a different kind of look. Now again, the most important part when you put the paper down, don't push hard. You want to be really nice and gentle. I like to go with circles very, very gently on my paper. And you'll get just a different kind of a look. I'll go ahead and peel this off. And by doing so, I've actually cleaned off my shaving cream a little bit and made it closer to white again. So it kind of clears off your canvas to just get another print off even if it's maybe not the print you're most excited about, cleaning it off could help with your next print. So I'm gonna go ahead, hold up a few of my prints. This is the one that I just did to kind of clean up the area I was working on. Two of the prints that I really loved how they turned out were these two that I did in the middle. I think those turned out kind of different and unique and beautiful. This one has nice swirls, whereas this one has nice feathers. Kind of reminds me of the cakes that I like to make, because I like to marble on my cakes. And my first two prints, I wasn't super excited about them. They didn't turn out their best. But they're still a great sign of my experimenting and my exploring a new art material. So I'm going to set these papers all apart, aside to dry. And while those are drying, I'm going to clean up my area now that I've finished my exploring. So, I hope you artists have a great time trying out shaving cream marbling. Bye, my friends.